invasion. For decades, alien invasion was the stuff of fantasy, of science fiction. No one believed such devastation could actually happen until that bright April morning, 2082. Fire reigned. Major cities were charred to ashes. And when this world needed to fight back, one took the charge, mounted what came to be known as Robinson's Raid, and saved the Earth. Fifteen years and a distinguished tour of duty later, he leaves the Corps to start a new life with his family on the planet Nova. Ladies and gentlemen, join with me in saying goodbye and thanks to a fine officer and a dear friend, Colonel John Robinson. I'm the one who should be saying thanks. I fought alongside many of the brave men and women in this room tonight. So believe me when I say the honor and privilege is entirely mine. But I'd especially like to thank my family. They're my strength, my support. And they keep my butt in line. <laughs> You're the reason behind everything I do. Thank you. Thank you all. How's our war hero holding up? Your war hero's feet hurt. <laughs> Why don't you ask someone to dance? Don't feel like it. Yeah, me neither. I'm so glad you're back. Me too. I wish they felt the same way. They do. Um, that's for sure. Hey, David. Do you know any of the other kids in here? Not a soul. Why? Well, aren't you sick of it? What? Never knowing anybody. Trying to make friends over and over again. Or in your case, trying and failing. <laughs> Can't say I blame them. I haven't exactly been father of the year. Gone nine, ten months at a time. You teleconferenced. You watched transmissions of all their games and recitals? Uh, it's not the same thing. I've missed a lot. Beijing, London, Buenos Aires. Every year a new base, a new school. But that's still not good enough for them. No, to be truly sadistic, they need to move us off the planet. Look, I know it's been hard. But Nova's gonna be better. It'll be a clean start, you'll see. You don't believe a word of that, do you? God, no. And Judy are practically grown up. Will's not far behind. Don't forget, Colonel, we have a baby back home, too. That's right. Penny, that's her name, right? Well, maybe there's still a time for her. I'm not sure she's yours. How many of those have you made? I lost track. About 14. You know, you're one serious little kid. That's Don West. Who? Only the youngest pilot to ever command his own squad. Graduated in Annapolis, top of his class. Okay, you're kind of creeping me out right now. All right, good to go. Boys, shall we? Mom, can I see another hour, please? Sorry, kiddo, early start tomorrow. It's moving day. Daddy? Don't look at me, you heard your mother. Maybe I'll make it mom's business. Come back to the party, okay? Why? Look, you can turn me in or not. Judy? Judy? Judy's 
Not in the room. There you are. Where were you? She's in the bathroom. Was she? Packing? All finished. So when were you going to tell me about your KIE test scores? What the hell was that? Where's Will? thing by yourself? What was it talking about danger? It protects me. From who? Some kids at school. Honey, you built yourself a bodyguard? Dad, let me bring it, please. I don't think it's a good idea, buddy. No. Look, you don't need a bodyguard. You got me. We're not moving. Call the transport company, tell him he made a mistake. I don't understand. All the boy did was build a robot. To protect himself. Because kids are beating him up at school. If that's not a cry for help, I don't know what is. He needs help, and he needs stability here on Earth. And Judy and David, they don't want to leave. Honey, honey, moving it was your idea, too? Well, maybe I'm having second thoughts. I mean, what are we thinking? Moving to a farming colony? Us? Machines do the farming. You're going to open a practice. They, they need doctors there. Brilliant, beautiful doctors. Dragging the kids across the galaxy? What kind of mother does that? Great wife. Pretty great wife, too. Earth is hectic and rush, but I know that. family for once. It'll be our last move, I promise. Look. God knows you know this family better than I do. So it's your call. If you don't want to go, then we don't go. So I'm brilliant and beautiful, huh? I thought the robot was cool. Better than the ones at the mall. Dad made me dismantle him. It's murder. Okay, transport's almost here. Let's hustle. Well, let's say goodbye to Earth. This is so unfair.
couple of months. It's cramped and it smells funny. It's like Grandpa's old hydro camper and the only difference is when you fly. Actually, it doesn't really fly that much. It doesn't have to. Once the mothership gets us to know this atmosphere, we detach, we land, and then we live on planet Redneck the rest of our lives. Will, don't touch anything in there. Oh, this thing is supposed to control just about everything on board. Welcome to Jupiter 2. Welcome to Jupiter Welcome to Jupiter 2. Oh, sorry. I saw some of the other pods, and I could swear that they're bigger than ours. Jupiter 5 was huge. And again, this walk-in closet isn't bad. Judy? That's your room. Mom! I need space. Anyone else see the irony? Hey, we're moving. Together, nice.